Let's bring in the very beautiful inside and out. I am not kidding. You're going to love him. Marco Antonio Regil. Marco, thanks for being with me today. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, so, of course, you have that gorgeous dog. Let's bring him back, Bernie. He's so wonderful, this gorgeous dog. Um, and I, I believe that you probably think that there are no differences between pets and farm animals. But I'm wondering if that's true and if you could elaborate. Of course. Well, that's that's that was one of the of the aha moments that I had when I watched that that video that documentary of Glass Walls with Paul McCartney the P, the yes. PETA documentary that you can find on on YouTube I think is everywhere. I always loved my dogs and I never mm -hmm. I never I never realized that I don't know it's just the marketing right you you see the cows in the milk uh marketing and you see they're happy cows or grazing lying or that is not free. true not true not, not true, true. Yeah. And you see what's happening and you realize oh my god the cows are the same the pigs are the same the pigs are even more sensitive and intelligent than dogs like right now you know we're seeing people horrified with with the with the chinese markets when they're you know that celebration again of the the dog meat festival when you see all the doggies being eaten and served and and and, awful. and and people feel yeah awful but it's the same thing, same thing. we're doing to the pigs and i just mm -hmm. went last week here in austin to the to one of the sanctuaries here and i took i took pictures of them i have a i have an instagram account where i i, I share photography which is my my passion it's called pics by marco and i took pictures of of the piggies and and they're so sweet. They were so sweet. I mean, one of them, I was taking pictures of him and he was like talking to me, like, stop taking pictures, come rub my belly. Right. Which is the same thing that Bernie does when I'm just like, you know, not, not close enough to him. And, and when you actually realize that they're exactly the same, that only in my head, it was different. Just, mm -hmm. it's just, it's just the same misunderstanding of reality when someone white thinks that someone with darker skin is different is the same mm -hmm. misunderstanding when we think that a that a pig and a dog are different only in our heads it's just a fantasy something that we've we've learned to believe in order to justify our actions and and something i i've learned reading watching documentaries meditating going to the holocaust museum in israel and mexico you know is i connect the dots and it's always the same thing the pattern is that in order to abuse another human being or in order to abuse uh, different species, we humans need to justify it somehow. And it's always the same formula. They're, we're not the same. That is always the same formula. But we that, are the same. That's exactly. But that's what Hitler sold to the German people, to the Nazis, right? Jewish are not the same. They're not even human. They they kill Jesus. They they have different features, and you can measure them, and you can identify them, and and they're the sons of the devil. So that's the formula. We are not the same. So then we can abuse them. Slavery was the same. Black the, 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 the lie was black people are not the same. So we can abuse them. Oh, interesting. So it's the same with the animals. Uh, so pigs are not the same as dogs. You would need your dog, but pigs are not the same. Oh, so therefore we can exploit it and torture it. So every time we go into, into that pattern of we're not the same is when abuse happens. And that is the origin of all this misunderstanding that we are the same. We are the same. And if we can give that idea an opportunity in all the aspects of our lives, then I think we have a chance to to move forward and, and be more compassionate and more loving. And that's for me, that's the essence of the whole the whole thing. 